How did the stock market crash lead to the Great Depression? The stock market crash of 1929 is widely considered as a major factor that led to the Great Depression, which was a severe and prolonged economic downturn that lasted from 1929 to the late 1930s. The stock market crash itself did not directly cause the Great Depression, but it served as a trigger and exacerbated the economic crisis in several ways. Loss of wealth and confidence. The stock market crash resulted in massive losses of wealth for investors, who had heavily invested in stocks with borrowed money. As stock prices plummeted, many investors lost their entire life savings, which led to a significant loss of consumer confidence. This loss of confidence in the financial system led to a decrease in consumer spending and business investment, which further weakened the economy. Banking system collapse. The stock market crash also had a devastating impact on the banking system. Many banks had invested heavily in the stock market and suffered huge losses when stock prices collapsed. As a result, many banks failed, and people lost their savings as banks closed down. The loss of savings and lack of trust in the banking system led to widespread bank runs, where people rushed to withdraw their money from banks, causing a further collapse of the banking system. Reduction in industrial production. The economic downturn resulting from the stock market crash led to a sharp reduction in industrial production. As businesses faced declining demand and reduced access to credit, they cut back on production, leading to layoffs and unemployment. The reduction in industrial production further weakened the economy and contributed to the Great Depression. Global economic impact. The stock market crash of 1929 had a global impact as it triggered a chain reaction of economic contraction in other countries. The U.S. was a major global economic power at the time, and the economic downturn in the U.S. led to a decrease in U.S. imports from other countries. This, in turn, led to a decline in demand for goods and services from other countries, which resulted in widespread global economic depression. Government response. The government response to the stock market crash and the ensuing economic crisis was initially inadequate. The Federal Reserve, which is the central bank of the United States, failed to effectively manage the money supply and address the banking crisis. Additionally, government policies, such as the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act of 1930, which raised tariffs on imported goods, led to a reduction in international trade and further deepened the economic crisis. Overall, the stock market crash of 1929 was a significant event that triggered a chain of events that led to the Great Depression. It resulted in a loss of wealth and confidence, collapse of the banking system, reduction in industrial production, global economic impact, and inadequate government response, all of which contributed to the severity and duration of the Great Depression. If this was useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.